Hey, what's up everybody? Donkey Puncher here, bringing you some uh, Mortal Kombat gameplay. Uh, just go over a few things, uh, mostly on story mode. Um, kind of have some questions, pretty much for those, uh, you know, the hardcore Mortal Kombat fans who pretty much know, like, every storyline and uh, know the answers to every storyline and whatnot. Uh, kind of a couple questions, you know, sometimes I hate uh, going into, like, a story mode or a single player because sometimes I get drawn in. Sometimes you have like uh, questions, you know, never-ending questions that you know you just can't find the answers to. Um, one of the things I found interesting uh, that story mode didn't really start making sense to me until uh, after watching Luke Kane's uh, ladder. Uh, if you do like a ladder, you'll get some tor some sort of uh, kind of like ending to that person's character. And um, I mean, if you haven't seen it, you might want to, you know, maybe skip this uh, video altogether. Uh, but if you haven't seen it, I have it coming up uh, in about a minute or so. But uh, story mode didn't kind of start making sense until after I saw the ending of Luke Kane's. Um, again, the end of story mode for me, I mean, it almost kind of felt like uh, a Star Wars movie. Um, watching Quan Chi and, you know, his master or whatever the guy's name is, I really don't know his name. Um, kind of talking at the end there. And... Uh, it's kind of weird seeing like most of the good guys basically dead except for Johnny Cage and Sonya. Um, but again, I mean, uh, you know, watching story mode and seeing how uh, how much like people were kind of rude to Raiden uh, throughout like after about chapter eight or nine, to where people start questioning you know Raiden's motive, motives uh, in the story mode, and, and you know you, you see Johnny Cage a couple of times saying. Uh, who else are you going to put to someone's death? But, uh, I don't know, here comes Luke Kane's uh, ending to, this, to his ladder, uh, basically his ladder matches, and uh, I'll kind of uh, quit the commentary so you can watch that and maybe listen to it a little bit. Having defeated Shao Kahn, Liu Kang believed he was the only one capable of defending Earthrealm against outside threats. During the invasion, Raiden had been more burdened than ally. Brazenly, he demanded the Elder Gods grant him the Thunder God status. In a one-match Mortal Kombat tournament, Liu Kang defeated his former friend and mentor. Liu Kang's request was granted. He was made a god, the new protector of Earthrealm. Okay, so there is the ending, and, you know, I kind of, at least for me, after, after I watched that for, for the very first time, uh, story mode started making sense to me. Um, kind of the questions I have is, you know, is this the direction that uh, Mortal Kombat is going to take? Um, you know, after this game, um, because talking to a lot of other uh, fans of Mortal Kombat of how they say, uh, you know, the recent titles, uh, with the exception of uh, you know DC uh, versus DC Universe, um, that uh, you know, basically the other Mortal Kombat's were kind of failures on you know basically the story and the characters that they presented uh, through those stories. So you know, my question is, is are they going to go with? Uh, you know, Luke Kane as like basically like the new Raiden. Uh, does basically Luke Kane uh, resurrect um, all the good characters that died that's under Quan Chi's rule right now, or you know Quan Chi has them all, has all their souls and whatnot. Um, you know, does Luke Kane end up uh, you know, resurrecting them and bringing them back to this game? Because I can't really imagine like all the good characters, especially all the popular ones, um, basically not being in either the next one and you know kind of seeing where you know where they might take the story mode afterwards um again um you know i'm not a big johnny cage fan but somehow he made it out alive uh sonya's okay but you know just having those two and then maybe luke kane in the next one and without any of the rest of them kind of doesn't make sense to me so i mean it seems like since the other ones were failures that they're going to try to uh you know just bring out a brand new uh Mortal Kombat all together, so it's kind of interesting. Would like to know some answers that uh, people may have or what they think um, about it. So, you know, let me know. 
Um, so gameplay is coming to an end, and uh, you know, please, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. All right, later. Fatality. <laughs>